My name is Hayley Tindler. I'm the founder of the Emotion Mind Dynamic Connection Therapies and the creator of the Emotion Mind Dynamic Programme. Today I'm speaking with Cindy, who did the programme over four years ago. We're actually at the anniversary point. And she's going to tell us our, her experience of completing Emotion Mind Dynamic face to face with myself. So, four years ago, wow, I can't believe it. Four years ago, I walked through that door and it's completely changed my life. That's thanks to you, that is. Well, People say that, but I will say, I don't do the hard work. I'm the lucky one. I get to hold your hand, give you some information, give you some skills. You get to do the hard work. So you did it. And I was, I get to witness that, all those things that you have. I remember your first day. I remember you coming through that door and you just looked like you were ready to run. And just... You told me all these things about what you were doing to get through your day, all the busyness and, and going to all these different towns, the shop, to the gym, in order to avoid some of the issues you were dealing with. Um, do you remember that time? I do. It was um, it was quite a tough time. I was just completely out of control of my emotions, didn't know how to repair myself. I'd been for help elsewhere, but they just took me back in time, which didn't help what I needed then. And, but uh, I came here and started with uh, some homework. I remember walking through the door saying, whatever I gotta do, I'll do it. Yeah, I, 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 I do yeah. as well. Because you probably, it's hard to come in somewhere and not, because you don't know what you're coming in. So that first session was just an introduction. Yes. Yeah. So this is what, this is my program, this is what we're gonna do together. Um, and you did go away with the coaching model. Yes. And, um, I remember so you coming back and starting, how keen you were to come back and start. But it wasn't always easy here, was it? No, it was a few things I didn't understand. Number one, I said to I left you a little bit unsure, but I thought I'd have another little look in the house. And I remember ringing you on a Saturday morning, saying I'm not quite sure where to do this particular process. And you explained it again then. So it was... It made sense, and halfway through doing that homework, then I realised what I was dealing with, yes. which is a, a massive turning point. I think it was the third time I came in here. That was, uh, I remember you leaving, and that for me was like, have I, d- have I done my job? She didn't understand, and I know, I knew you, when you left, you didn't understand. So when you rang me, it, after that, and you rang and you said, I got it, I understand yeah. why. You, this, this nugget of information, it just dropped into the pen, it dropped yeah. for you as to what, what issues and when it started for you. Yeah. And um, like you said, that was a turning point. That, that, yeah, what was the last call? I remember doing um, putting the happy times in my new life, but then the unhappy times. Yeah. And that's when I found what had changed in my life. That, yeah. that was fascinating. That was the life reflection session. Like, yeah. And that that is the you know, all steps are important. But that one really is about you understanding I can't tell you, it's not my job to tell you what the issues are. It's, it's for me to say this is how you can look at it, this is how you discover what the issues are. And you did you put out your all into that. Yeah. Even though you didn't understand, you put your all into it and that will get it. That, that for me was a massive thing and I think I knew that even at that point with three sessions left that the programme was going to be a success for you because that was big for you. Yeah what I loved about this is um, I had to find my own answers and by you give me all different types of homework encouraged me to do different things and I would just sort of highlight different situations that needed to be changed, but I still needed your help to show me how. And that's part of the parcel, is, is you've got all the information. Yeah. So you, you come to me and you, you tell me your version of your life, but, but until you start putting it all together and, and, and seeing it on paper and doing all the homework, that's when it starts to make sense to you. And, and I, I, I know that you went home every time and you, you committed to the homework, you did yes. everything, you used yeah. everything. You were probably one of the shortest time frames of doing the program if I remember right. Um because I think you did do it in a, in a six to seven weeks. It wasn't long. Um but you did you hated your time into it. Do you remember what happened as a result of then completing the program? Um 
But I, I just left Jira completely able to control my life. I understand how to handle every situation that's thrown at me. Uh, it, it's, it's just amazing. If you told me when I walked through that door within six weeks, and I'd be walking back out there, having a complete new life, I, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't have needed it. Well, you wouldn't be the first. I have many, many clients who come here and would say to me, I don't think this is going to work. Mainly because they've been to some kind of therapy or counselling or something before. And it's ha- they, they've had this short-lived thing. But So they would say, oh, when are you telling me? I don't think this is going to work. But um, I like a challenge. So I like to get on with people like that and say, right, okay, let's see if they want to see you. And you did, you, you came, because you said you, you had previous therapies of counselling, you know, Yeah, but I've never, never in this style. Mm. What I liked about this, from, from day one when I walked out here, when I started doing the homework, I was seeing answers. Right. Okay. So uh, the next week, I was running out doing my homework, because it was all about, like, doing a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. You know, it was, um, and once I had to come back in, that was two years ago, after, um, Someone very close passed away, and I had a wobble. But then, within fifteen minutes, that had gone. Mm-hmm. And no, it's it's like learning to drive a car. Then, whereas you think, right, look at the mirrors, look left, look right, do this, do that. You think, you know, you can't do all that, and now you just do it. And learning how to use every single tool you could give, no matter what happens. It's just like riding a car. You just automatically do it now, oh, which yeah. is, yeah. It has, it's been completely life-changing for me. And uh, it's making my husband a lot happier. <laughs> he's he's going to walk me. I'm sleeping back as normal, which I did many years ago. Um, but four years ago is a long time. So mm-hmm. you still, you're still you still using the tools and the things that you learned with the emotional dynamic. It's just, just ingrained in you now because... Um, it just had a, a very positive effect because I didn't know what was happening with me. Um, I wanted to have more medication just to try and dull my mind. And that's when he said, no, I've got a lady that can help you. And it's, it, it was, everything was positive because every time I came in here, I understood that I went home and I changed it and life was getting better and better and better. So and I had to do find all the answers, like I said. But um, the way this is laid out, I've got my little file and everything's gone in it from every single day that I come in here, the letters that I was putting down, which again we did this morning was uh, I can smile because the girl that came in here four years ago. She's not here anymore. She was a very different person. Yeah. But I I, I know um, when you started with me, I was already, I was still struggling with my depression. I wasn't as bad as I had been when it first sort of came to light. And a lot of your journey, a lot of what we did together, it taught me as well. It helped me with my depression. But I didn't realise that. And I, I think it's, I will always want to learn from somebody. So when you were coming in and talking about your your situation and how you were dealing with things or not dealing with things as the case may be, it really did help me add to the programme. It helped me help myself. It helped me help other people. And that's really key for me. So hearing where you come, you know, where you yeah. came from to where you are today, and it feels yeah. like a long time. Do you still think that for you that the process is still ongoing? You're still learning things in life? Um, if I've got to be honest, the tools that I've been given that I've never fit, I don't need anything else. I just realign myself. I'm responsible for myself. Uh, I'm more confident. Um, I, I just, whereas before I would, I would have to go out. So it's just protecting yourself every way. Um, so no, there's, I'm not saying I wouldn't, I can't learn anything more, but it's like I've learned enough, no matter so far, every situation that I found myself in, that I can just easily get out of it because there's no stress, there's no worry. It's like, all oh, right, okay, I know what that is now. I'll take this route. I'll sort of, right, take your Superman clothes off, but starting out, you run around helping the birds, and now I just take a step back, and I think, 
råd att stats, något jobb för det som att passa på så att det är bra. Do you think there is anything different that could have been done in the program? Is there anything that more or anything that, that, would, that could have helped? I, I come myself lucky. I just walked through that door and it, from day one, it was like picking a brick up off your head. I was getting lighter and lighter. My emotions were getting more rational. So the way that you've done it with me to come out and to live a, a really happy, healthy life, there's nothing more I could, I could ask from you. You know, uh, it just brought happy. More happiness, more happiness. So definitely not. Okay, so that's fab. And, and, and part of, of how I am with the phones, if there's anything that I can learn, I guess I do, yeah, I would put that in. And, and I think, I'd like to think that it is unique, even though the process is the same for everybody. Every session, one session, two, isn't the same for everybody. That makes yes, sense. yeah. So I, I, I'd like to think that that's the case. And it sounds like for you, because it was ideal for you, it was the right yeah. level and everything for you. But I, I just, I'm so impressed with you doing the hard work. I, I don't do the hard work. I did the hard work when it was my depression. I get to watch. I get to watch as people grow and I get to be part of that journey and that for me is a little bit addictive. Addictive, I should say. It's a little bit, I enjoy it. Yeah. You know, even when people say to me, this isn't going to work for me, I think, just come and try it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have that. It was a little bit actually sent me here. And she said, um, but like a disc when you have to find it switched off, she said it's like CD. She said I got the exact blade here yeah, and I just took up the words. And it was, no, if I need to tell, if I need to put the right set when you get in here, uh, explain it in things. But it, it was absolutely, well, uh, it's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. And uh, I like in that, so see, I met you today now, it's, it's like brilliant, isn't it? So different, isn't it? Yeah. From that first, and even from the last session, you changed in the last session yeah. that we had together. And I think that's important because like, it's an ongoing process of self discovery and yeah. learning about yourself and, and understanding how you want to live life and, and what you can do to get to create that life that you want. Because I, I'm, I'm so happy to have you say thank you ever so much. It's been fabulous you and your journey here. Um, and, and thank you for sharing with everybody. Hopefully it'll help somebody to, to come and uh, seek help if they need it. If you would like to, to get in touch and find out more, you can contact me on 07966 or Hayley at You can find me on any social media platform, Hayley or you can find Emotion Mind.